Uh, we're going to do the calibration now, and the first thing we need to do is to make sure there's no food in the feeder. We start by taking off the blue tube, uh, just pressing on the two buttons on the side. You pull the bottom out, and we're going to dump that food out. We'll need it in, in a little bit later to do a test. Uh, then look at the brushes, and uh, you can take the brushes off and inspect them. Make sure there's no kibble in, stuck in the brushes. We don't want that to fall out during the calibration and we put them back on and then put the tube back on so we've ensured that there's no kibble inside the feeder. That's step one. Uh, we're going to turn the feeder on and when it comes on you hear a beep and that's, a, that's critical. It has to beep. Um, the feeder has three settings, one of which is on mute and the calibration will not work if it's on mute. So just make sure that you hear a beep and you can adjust the volume if you need to to take it off of mute. All right, so we've emptied the feeder and we've turned it on and we've ensured that the volume is on. Now we're ready to go to the app and start up the app and connect to the feeder. We're going to go to the home screen, press settings, and go inside settings and you'll see the feeder uh, listed. You want to press the uh, connect to the feeder. The next screen will show you the uh, uh, calibrate or test. We want to calibrate the feeder now and then you'll have a button to start the calibration so you'll go ahead and do that and now you're ready to uh, you've started the calibration process that sent a command over to the feeder. Now the next step is, is uh, um, very important that we avoid light coming in on the, on the brush area. So if there's any light coming in from a window, or from an overhead light, we want to turn it away so that those brushes are pointed away from the light. Also, we want to avoid wrapping our hand around that front area where the brushes are because that will alter the light inside the feeder. This is all about adjusting to appropriate light levels. So we've started from the app. We can set the, the app aside for now. We've started it into the calibration mode. We're going to use the top two buttons on the side of the feeder. That's the power button at the top and the volume button in the middle. Uh, and you're going to have to press both of them exactly at the same time. Hold down, do not release, and wait until there's a beep and the lights start flashing. Release immediately, and now you see the lights flashing. That, this will go on for about uh, 10 to 15 seconds. Uh, if you're on battery, uh, the lights will stop flashing. It'll change to a slow flashing green light indicating that we're on battery power. Now, if you happen to be plugged into the wall, this is only if you're on wall power, the lights will go out. It didn't turn off, it's still on, so you can do this calibration on wall power as well. But just uh, note that, uh, that all the lights may go out if you're on wall power. Okay, we have just completed the first stage of the calibration. You're going to go back to the app and uh, end the calibration. You press the button on the app to end the calibration. And now there's a button to test the feeder. We want to put a little bit of kibble, uh, just a small handful now, in the feeder, enough to test it. Oh, you know, maybe about a quarter cup or less. Um, and put the lid on. And then you're going to, um, there's a test button on the app. We're going to um, uh, press that test button and see if it dispenses a kibble. There we go. Uh, really, we generally get about one to three kibble out. Uh, the thing that we're, lo we're looking for two things during this checkout to make sure the calibration went correctly. One, are the brushes turning and did some kibble come out? And two, uh, if, it, if that's true, then uh, do the brushes stop as soon as the kibble comes out? If, if that's happening, then we've got a good calibration. If either you don't get any kibble or you get uh, the brushes continuing to turn, then you have to redo the calibration.